I am going to make a part today with you, my wonderful viewer and subscriber, that a percentage of any proceed from this channel, no matter how small, will be donated to someone in need wherever I am. Starting from this video. Unfortunately, my time in Belize is coming to an end. So today I'm going to go to Belize City's Antelope Street Extension to donate my first ever YouTube pay. The money that YouTube is paying me because you amazing people decided to click on my video and watch my video, subscribe and share. As you can see, I'm only a small channel. It's not going to be much, but I know they will love it. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Hello everyone, Mickey here. Welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. It's been placed on my heart to revisit Belize City's Antelope Street extension, but this time to donate the first ever proceed from this channel. Yes, I know and believe that good deeds must be done in secret, but please hear me out as I have a good reason for bringing you on this journey and hopefully many more to come in future. But before that, who are the residents of Belize City's Antelope Street Extension? This is a recap of their story. First, meet Philippa. Well, I'm here like one year and six months. Yeah. How did you, did you live somewhere before coming? Well, I was renting a house and um, mean rent was a problem to find income because you know at the time job was really slow with my boyfriend because he don't have no papers for here so i got the land from my brother and then he bought a house for 150 dollars please it was old but there it is um not quite comfortable but thank god i'm out of rent and i'm grateful Felipe's partner had to go back to El Salvador as the stress of not finding a job during the global lockdown took a toll on his mental health, leaving her to cater for two toddlers without an income. This is everything here. She doesn't have bathroom. So what she does is go to her mom to utilize the bathroom. When it rains, everything in here get, gets wet. Oh God. Yes. If you, if you look over that side, you will see all the openings. I also got a chance to meet Chantel, a former hairdresser who lost her business during lockdown. Struggling to pay her rent, Chantel would offer her possessions and livelihood like TV and stove in return for a roof over herself and her family's head. Eventually running out of possessions, she had no choice but to move into this wooden shelter in this neighborhood. How many people share this room? Um, this is shared by four people, me and my three kids, two girls and a little boy. It feels uncomfortable, but it's something you have to adjust yourself to, you know, to for your, for your lifestyle, you understand? It's not something you're happy with, you're not comfortable in it, but it's something you have to live with until you can do better or get help to do better. Last but not the least, Anselma, a single mother of two. How is it like living here with, with your kids? <laughs> much better than any else thing. Oh, much? Oh, okay. It's not much, yeah. but I'm grateful for it. It's mine. So, I'm very, very lucky. Most people want something right now. Yeah. I got mine fighting for it, so I'm very appreciative for this house. Oh wow. It's not much, but I loved it. Yeah. Um, you guys want to go up? Yeah, let me. Now, back on the subject of making this donation public. 
First, I believe that apart from God, all we have as humans is the love that we have for each other. I also believe the act of kindness is infectious, so it is my hope that this video serves as an example for someone to extend the hand of kindness to others. Secondly, these lovely residents opened their doors and granted access for me and my cameras, and I think it's only fair that I updated you, my wonderful viewers, on this desirable conclusion. Finally, this donation was made possible by you wonderful viewers and subscribers and I deem it fair that I brought you along to witness how your support for this channel impacted other lives today and hopefully days to come. Now, let's go and pay Antelope Street Extension a visit. And who else would take me to Belize City's Antelope Street Extension other than the Belizean Robin Hood himself, Mr. Albert Magdaleno of Ladyville Highlights. Please support his worthy cause on Facebook at Ladyville Highlights. Link will be at the YouTube video description for easy access. here in Antelo Streets extension and as I told you um, we are here to come and update the story we want to know since we came here what has changed and what is happening and we will end up donating my first ever YouTube pay to these wonderful people who opened their arms opened their doors for me to come and visit them For the um for the underneath so the house is well set on something solid now but the house itself is in the same situation same holes and what's next okay yeah. i came here for shopping um you open your your home for me and you let me bring my camera in there you two started paying me money and i thought the best thing i can do is to take all the money and share it among you three ladies. <sighs> that would be so good. So it's not much because I'm only a small YouTuber. Okay. Um, but I will feel at peace if at least I give something to you. So um, okay. I will really appreciate it. So my time is nearly done. So okay, I'm so you are going, back, going to back to the UK. Yeah. Well, I hope so, you enjoy yeah. here. Thanks very much. It's Thanks not very a lot, much. as I Thanks said, but even if it feeds you for yeah. a day. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Because I have the girls, you know, yeah. so it will a little take me a long way. I really appreciate right. it. All right. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Thank right. you, too. I would like to say thanks very much, you know. To the everybody viewers, the anybody who is watching TV, the video, yeah. they are the ones that make this happen. Thank if you they all. don't watch Thank it, you. I don't get anything. Thank you all so much, and um, we really appreciate it. This is a life, man, and we we love it, but you know, we'll appreciate any little to help balance our life in a complete better way. Thanks very, very much. the ring leader yeah. <laughs> how are you doing oh, Miss Chantel not too bad not too um, bad I hope you remember me of course of course I do yes. so as I said I was, I was saying that um, YouTube started paying me and I decided the best thing I need to do is take all the money and share it among you three women ladies right Amazing. so so just take a little of the token okay thank that's you. my appreciation Thank and you, thank you. a lot of people watching the video, a lot of people want to come and help Belize and I hope, um, I've got Mr. Magdaleno, yes, I will not be here, I've only got like a week left in, oh, in Belize okay. after three and a half years. Okay. Um, if anybody 
wants to help, they will come to me and I'll link them to Mr. Magdaleno and I pray that something would happen. So just a token and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank um, you is so there anything much. you want to say to the viewers who's been watching and then making this happen? Well, to everybody that makes everything happen, you know, especially Mr. Magdaleno and Lady Bill Highlight, we really, really appreciate it back here. You know, to let everybody see what you know, the real poor people of Belize are really living like. So thank you guys again. We really enjoy. And thanks again. Thanks a million. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. I love little conks, you know, one one. My granny always say one one pick. Yeah. It pulls a basket. You know, and that's granny's saying, that's not my saying. She says you pick it one one and it pulls a basket. Thanks again. That's right. That's thank you right. very much, Antel. Okay, so Anselma, um the lady who gave me that saying that it's only small it's not much but i love it she made me you know know what it means to have something she's not here i'm going to try and track her down and give her her portion but now whatever we have here we will give it to uh, it and, and i have a youtube channel where i posted the video and people watched it and that youtube decided to pay me some money and i decided you know what this is not my money it is your money you open your bosom to me you, you let a stranger like me come into your world and tell your story so I decided it's a token it's only a small channel and this is my first ever pay and I want to give it out do you want to say thank you or anything to my viewers and thank you to all the viewers out there I'm so thankful for everything I am pleased to say that later that week, Anselma was struck down and her portion of the money was handed over to her and she extended her profound gratitude to you, my viewers and subscribers, for your kindness. I am not going to sit here and say that the money in those envelopes is enough to grant them financial freedom, but one thing I can say is none of those ladies went to bed that evening wondering where their next meal will come from, and that was fine with me, and I hope you wouldn't mind either. So guys, um, as you can see, these resident people behind me, they appreciated what you guys have done. I couldn't have done it without your help. I couldn't have done it without you watching. That is why I made this video so that you guys will know that every time you watch my videos, someone's life is going to be changed. Even for a day, that is a life-changing situation. As always, thank you very much for coming on this journey and you will be seeing more of Belize even when I am in UK. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe if you are new and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.